The Indian currency continues to hover above 72 for a dollar, its lowest level in the last few months. The surge in crude prices and widening of current account deficit has been blamed for the sharp depreciation of rupee against dollar. While the slump is expected to continue, the finance minister reassured that there is no need to worry. Since June 2018, when the RBI had started hiking key rates, the rupee slumped over 6%. The rupee has been among the worst performing currency in emerging markets since the start of 2018. Primary reasons are of course global in nature. All emerging market currencies are losing ground against the dollar and this is primarily to do with how the US is conducting its trade policies. So America's uh, after Donald Trump's advent has become very aggressive and uh, that I think is one of the reasons. Plus the way interest rates are going up in the US that is also contributing to this um, rate uh, strengthening in the US. So I think this will continue for some time. This will affect a lot of industries domestically but uh, the only consolation here is that we are doing better than other currencies are. So we have seen how the Turkish Lira has collapsed and we have seen how the Peso has collapsed in Argentina. So compared to those uh, other economies, we have done uh, relatively much better. The dollar is witnessing an increase in demand due to an uptake in the US's GDP numbers, with its economy growing at 4.1% in the second quarter of this year. The fastest since late 2014, adding more jobs, making the dollar stronger. Besides, the US Federal Reserve has steadily raised interest rates. Another reason behind the falling currencies of emerging markets. The situation in Turkey and brewing US-China trade war has also worked against the rupee. The China-US shadow battle is being seen by many as the beginning of another Cold War. Apart from price impact, rising crude oil prices have also led to a rise in fuel prices in India. The current price of Brent crude oil is $77.51 per barrel. The value of rupee comes under pressure as oil importing companies demand more dollars. Uh, rupee depreciation uh, does impact the overall inflation situation and uh, RBI would uh, be looking uh, to keep it under control through uh, various measures. But then uh, again, if uh, uh, the situation worsens along with the crude oil prices, then I think that a uh, lot of commodities uh, would be uh, on a higher side. Uh, and uh, since India is net oil importing uh, country, so it puts a lot of direct and indirect pressure on uh, uh, the uh, inflation as such. And uh, prices, if prices goes uh, higher and higher, then our purchasing uh, power goes down uh, with that. Amid rising oil price and weakening rupee, India's current account deficit is expected to rise to 2.8% of the GDP in the current financial year. High current account deficit further puts pressure on the rupee. The CAD as a percentage of the GDP declined marginally to 2.4% in the April to June quarter of 2018 and 19, against 2.5% in the year ago. However, in value terms, the CAD was higher at $15.8 billion in April to June this year, as against $15 billion in the same quarter of 2017 and 18, mainly because of a higher trade deficit. Various fundamental factors, they have been uh, no, improving quarter on quarter. So I consider this as a no, uh, short term uh, case and in the longer term the market will again make a new highs and uh, what we are expecting that uh, a post election uh, we, we, we will be seeing a new highs in the market. The rupee has not been the only currency affected. Currencies of emerging economies have also gone down in recent weeks. According to economists, while most of these global queues are unlikely to change much in the immediate future, the focus should be on long-term reforms to plug the current account gap. I mean, there's a risk also of inflation because imports become more expensive and those imports will be higher price. But I really think that the bigger priority 
is jobs. That's what Modi also promised. Ache din. Ache din was a code word for jobs. Vikas was a code word for jobs. We should stick to stick to the right thing. It is housing startups. It will be industry. It will. We are now coming into a good period. Let's continue on that period and don't get affected by. The fact that there's an election coming around. And On the other hand, the weaker rupee would also mean paying high cost for certain items like gold ahead of festive season, edible oil, petrol and diesel, shopping, international airfare, and foreign education. The current slump in rupee shows that robust share market is not clearly an indicator of health of the economy. The weak rupee is putting additional inflationary pressure because of costlier imports, leading to an increase in the prices of key commodities and highlighting for a big action to reverse the trend.